BattleRap.com, Smart Alex, and I am with the one and only, to the bit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we out here, bro. I'm home. Born Legacy 3, welcome to URL. Feel good, bro. Feel good. Like, I still can't believe it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still in disbelief. Like, yo, did I have a battle on URL? Possibly a very good battle on URL. And I'm, it's over. Like, it happened. Like, nobody got punched. Nobody got, you know what I mean? Like, it happened. Damn. I'm here. So, um, I think you put on a great show. I think that that battle is going to be very fun to watch on camera. Can you give me a personal favorite moment from your first? Um, just break it down the story to the world. You know what I mean? Like, like I've been saying on all the interviews, a lot of these rappers in here don't even know that if it wasn't for me, it'd be no such thing as the Proven Rounds. And that's why I was running with the whole Apocalypse theme. Like, you know, from the X-Men movie, Apocalypse was the creator. But the world forgot who created all of this shit. And, like, that was my whole theme for this battle. Like, look, nigga, I, I designed the PGs. Me. I gave the name. I gave the first card. Like, all that. So if it wasn't for me, the, in, like, none of these niggas wouldn't even exist. It wouldn't even be a lane for them to even battle in. So that was my whole objective from the first round, and that was like one of the moments that I needed to stick in, in you know, the up and comers' eyes. Like, you you turned the tables on Mike when you decided to show him what scheming really was when you went into street fighter mode. Why? Um, like I said, one of the things about life is to take somebody's hottest moment and really do it better than them. Like for example, some a lot of niggas battle me and they'll use my, you know what I mean? They'll use what I do, but they just use it. They don't really do it better than me. They just use it. I want to show Mike P. I do this, bro. Like, I don't just barely do it. I do it hard. And that's why I kept keep it going. Y'all want some more? Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Y'all want some more? Let's go. You know what I mean? And I think you did a great job because a lot of people, a number of complaints that they normally get is that, like, you can rap. Yeah. And you're always going to show that you can rap. But sometimes your rap isn't pointed at the guy yeah, in front of you. But I think this time you really dedicated some energy into directly attacking him. Was there a, all right, this is the way I have to do it for URL, or this was just the way I have to do it for my opponent? No, 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 no. It was more so like at this moment I got to show them, like, bro, it, it ain't like I'm not direct because I don't want to be. Nigga, Mike P, you said it. None of the other shit count. This count. Okay, this is the time where I'm going to show your ass. And I showed you. Yeah, I thought that was a great punch he had in saying that this was your first battle that counted. And you kind of reacted like, ooh. Yeah, no, no, I've been telling people that. Like, I've been telling people, my career was 0-0 zero, zero coming in into today. Now I'm 1-0. I'm good. I'm good. So does that mean that all the other guys before can ask for rematches? Yep. Me and Clips battling again on URL. Me and oh, every other battle I ever thought I had, y'all thought it's not real. Those are illusions. They're all happening again. Now, if you pull that off, that makes everything that Chris said about you true. Yeah, it is true. It's going to happen. And I don't even mean battle rap, Chris. I mean Chris on bias. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So you're going to basically... Now, he said you recycle. You're going to recycle your entire career? Yeah. In opponents? Yeah, opponents. I'm going to recycle it all. See, like I said, it's all psychological warfare. What I did by even battling Mike P, I could be on Summer Madness Noam. I told Norbs and Chico, no, nah, I don't want to be on that. I want to start my career over. And like I just told 15 Minutes of Fame, I don't want to be like a Chris Weber or a Charles Barkley or one of them niggas, Aaron Smith, sitting in the sports in the room talking about the young niggas. I'm going to play. I'm not sitting in the office. I'm going to play, my nigga. Fuck the bullshit. I don't give a fuck who you think I was. I'm going to play with Curry and Westbrook and all them niggas, and I'm a washer. So that was my whole thing. Like, yo, I want to start my whole career over from the bottom, and not only start it over from the bottom, but just gain respect. You know what I mean? Like, respect is something that got to be earned. It ain't really just given. It ain't, it's very rarely just given to somebody. So now it's to the point to where I want to gain my respect. I want to earn it. I want to battle in the streets, in the trenches. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much it. So what's in the future for Daylight on URL? Um, like I said, I got a six-battle contract. Six-battle contract locked in with URL exclusively. And, um, you know, uh, from then I'm going to just wait on the next call. You heard it here first, BattleRap.com, Daylight. Yo, follow your boy Daylight2K, all my websites, Daylight2K, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Also, 
If you ever wanted wonder, if you ever wondered how do I think of the stuff I think of, go to daylightbattlerapsecrets.com. It'll give you a full tutorial on how I write my material and how I come up with all of this stuff. I was not prepared for that. Battlerap.com.